Hi, I'm Greg Dowling, the Salt and the Swing. Welcome to Golf Magazine's SOS Golf Show. We're down here today at the Melbourne Golf Academy. Let's go inside and have a look around. Greg. Darren, how are you? Good, Good to meet you. Hey, welcome to the uh, Tarmac Performance Lab. Amazing looking facility you've got here. It is, it is pretty cool. So let's, um, let's head over and get some information and we'll get you started. Sounds great. Okay, Greg, we've got your information on the computer now. What we're going to do is get you to take a seat and we'll get you suited up, ready to go. So we're just going to put some reflective markers over your shoes. Obviously, we're going to get you completely censored up. What this allows us to do is just see everything in motion and we want to see what your whole body's doing. So we're including feet and your footwork throughout your golf swing. What you'll also find is that the golf clubs that we use, they've also got the same reflective markers. It just allows us to catch everything with the six cameras we've got around the room. Capture it in motion, view it in 3D up on the screen, and measurements down to about 10th of the degree. So we get some really good detail. I'm just gonna place four more temporary markers on you, and this is gonna allow us to scale you into the system, creating your avatar, and then we can track all your movements. Beautiful. Okay, Greg, now that we've got you all scaled in the system, we're going to be hitting four different clubs today. So we're going to start with a 56 degree wedge, work through six iron to look at your iron play, drive it, and then we're going to come back and do putting. So we're going to get a snapshot of your entire game. We're going to be hitting six balls with each club, so 24 shots in total, but that's going to give us more than enough information. If you want to hang there, I'm just going to get you a wedge, and then we're going to get started. We've got the same reflective markers all over the club that we've just placed on yourself, so this allows us to track your movements and the club movements and view them in 3D down to some really cool detail. So what I'm gonna get you to do first, let's have a few practice swings, learn about what it's like to swing with all this gear attached to you. We shouldn't feel any restrictions, but we want you to feel nice and comfortable. So when we look at irons, we're talking about hitting down on the ball, taking loft off the golf club. Driver, we're sort of flipping that on its head, so we want to hit it more at the bottom of our swing or a little bit on the up, and we're going to expect to increase the loft a little bit. This is a little reflective ball, so all the cameras can follow it. Yeah. What we're going to be doing is putting from this flat dot, putting to the hole. First thing that we like to look at is the actual loft on the putter at impact. The reason why we need loft is to get the ball out of the hole that it sits in and get it rolling nice and smoothly. If we have too much or too little, we're gonna see your ball bouncing and skidding for too long. When we look at the loft you've got here on your putter, we've got 6.1 degrees of loft at impact. Now we manufacture all our putters with four degrees, which is what we like to see. So what we're gonna do now, Greg, is we're gonna actually talk you through the R1 driver and get it set up properly for you. We can go anywhere from eight degrees all the way up to 12 degrees of loft, which is where we need you set. So we're gonna get that lined up with the arrow on the back. It's gonna slip in there nicely for us. And then, okay, so we've now got driver set to 12 degrees of loft. Oh, does, that, does that affect the face angle as well? It does. So when we look at hosel only adjustment systems, whenever we make a face angle change and then reground the golf club, it's gonna change the way it sits. So at the moment we're set neutral. We've got three open and three closed settings. The third setting is four degrees, so that's what we need to do to get this club face back to nice and square for you. So again, we loosen it off. It's gonna pop itself out of the head. We can see open settings on the top here. We spin it around to open three, which is gonna be four degrees open. When this golf club is grounded, this acts as the bumper so that it comes out of the head to make the face sit effectively closed or sinks itself in like we see here to make it sit a little bit open. So because we changed the lock, we needed to open it to let it rest a little bit differently. We've now got a 12 degree driver that's gonna sit perfectly neutral, which is what you want to your eye. Then we look at changing your shot bias. So we know for you typically, we saw a little bit of left to right. We wanna help you straighten it out. So we've got movable weights, a 10 gram weight and a one gram weight. 
when we load the heel up with more weight, what it's effectively going to do is slow this part of the club down, allowing the toe of the club to travel faster and square up. So we know we're going to get a good trajectory, we know visually we're going to be happy, and now we've controlled your flight path. So we're ready to go. Let's go and give it a hit. All right, sounds great.